Good morning, audience. This is EK15 News, and I'm Flower. The right time to talk about climate change is now. And no, changes in our planet's atmosphere did not cause hurricanes Harvey or Irma. But the consensus among scientists is that the effects of climate change, such as rising sea levels and warmer oceans, made those storms far more destructive than they would have been in the previous decade. The short version is climate change makes these very bad storms worse, said Sin Sublet, a meteorologist with Climate Central, a non-profit group that studies climate change. It's not the problem a promixiate cause of a storm, but it makes these bad storms worse. And in the case of a really bad storm, climate change can make it totally disastrous and catastrophic. The data on how our warming planet specifically impacted Harvey and Irma won't be known for quite some time. It can take months and even years to collect and analyze that information. But the science is this, hurricanes dry over warm water and strengthen in intensity. Oceans have warmed on an average 1 to 3 degrees Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit over the past century, and sea levels have risen about 7 inches during that time. Throw in compound flooding, the combination of rising sea levels from global warming, storm surge, and extreme rainfall. And you have the perfect mix for record flooding. We saw this in Greater Houston from Harvey and along the 240-mile stretch of the Atlantic coast from Jacksonville, F Florida, and Charleston, South Carolina, as a result of Irma's storm surge and heavy rains. Both storms were massive in scope. Harvey dumped a record 51 inches of rainfall, as he said, over Texas and Louisiana, saturating the region with uh, 20. 27 trillion gallons of water and in six days. Irma was the strongest Atlantic basin hurricane ever recorded outside the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean Sea. Spending three days as a Category 5 hurricane, the longest Category 5 on record, Irma maintained winds of uh, 100 18.5 megahertz or above for a total um, 37 hours, the most ever for a storm. If this isn't climate change, Miami Major Thomas Ricardo said that said as Irma be bore down on Florida. I don't know what it is. This brings us home. Last week, Scott Prude, head of the uh, head of the uh, Environmental Protection Agency, said it would be insensitive to talk about global warming as Irma took aim at Florida. Other administration officials also refused to address the matter. When asked Thursday, Thursday whether the recent hurricanes had changed his views on climate change, President Trump said, We've had bigger storms than this. Contradicting the hyperbolic language he had used to describe Irma days earlier at, as it neared Florida. In the past, Trump has said climate change is a hoax. The scientists said that talking climate change amid major storms is in their DNA. In August 2016, prolonged rainfall caused 
catastrophic and deadly flooding in,、uh, across southeastern Louisiana. A team of scientists studies the storm and determined within weeks that climate change has made had made it at least forty percent more likely to occur. But the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration last month called it premature to conclude that human activities have had a detectable impact on Atlantic hurricane activity. Although it added that global warming by the end of the century will probably make tropical storms more intense. Carolyn Hayho, director of the Climate Science Center at Texas Tech University, agreed that now is not the time to lecture hot-hit Florida and Texas residents about、uh, about hurricane preparedness or how their energy consumption might impact the、uh, the planet. But now is absolutely the time to be having this conversation. About climate change's real-time effects, she said, "The most dangerous myth that we have bought into as a society is not the myth that climate isn't changing for, or that humans aren't responsible." She said, "Is the myth that it doesn't matter to me." And that's why this is absolutely the time to be talking about the way climate change amplifies or exacerbates these natural events. This brings us home. Kylie McGrenton returns to their flooded home with boyfriend Daniel Harrison in the aftermath of Hurricane Irma in Bonita Springs, Florida. Sato and Heiho said they are all too familiar with the argument, arguments of climate change deniers. People point to images of devastating hurricanes from the early one thousand one thousand nineteens as examples of how extreme weather has always been part of coastal li- living. Or they say things like, "You can't even get a weekly forecast correct, let alone predict stuff happening decades from now." But Heiho said people shouldn't cherry pick scientific facts or think that their beliefs somehow trump reality. You can say you don't believe in gravity, but if you step off a cliff, you're going down," she said. The public wants answers. Heiho and other climate scientists say it is important to emphasize their belief that climate change didn't cause Harvey and Irma. No scientist ever said that. Heiho said, "What you will find is that we're basically saying the same thing, which is that climate change exacerbates those risks." Posed by the storms, for example, tropical storm As Allison dumped more than thirty、uh, uh, inches of rain over Texas in 2001, causing widespread flooding around Houston. But Harvey was an even was an even bigger storm, followed by warmer waters.、Um, that was Allison. As a result, it dumped more than 50 inches of rain on the region, causing massive flooding stretching more than 150 miles from Houston to Lake Charles, Louisiana. Are Omer and Harvey affected by climate change? Absolutely, said CNN senior meteorologist Bender Miner. Who has studied global warming for more than a decade? But everything in the atmosphere, atmospheres, now is impacted by the fact that、uh, it is warmer than it's ever been. Miller said, 
There's more water vapor in the atmosphere. The ocean is warmer, and all of that really only pushes the impact on in one direction, and that is worse. Higher surge in storms, higher rainfall in storms. Widespread destruction in the Florida Keys. There's some debate among scientists as to whether future tropical storms will be stronger or more frequent. The intensity, frequency, and duration of non-Atlantic hurricanes have increased since the early 1980s, according to the most recent national climate assessment. A peer A periodic report by a team of more than three、uh, hundred、uh, scientists and other ex- experts. The two thousand fourteen report also found the frequency of the strongest storms, category four and five hurricanes, had increased in the recent decade. But other scientists. Say the evidence is less conclusive. The historical Atlantic hurricane record does not provide compelling evidence for a sub- substantial greenhouse warming.、Uh, warming include long-term increase in storms, said Rainian Mouth, a research. Meteorologist at the Cato Institute, a, li- uh, a, liberta- a libertarian think tank. In the future, most scientists say there won't necessarily be more hurricanes, just more the just the potential for more hurricane-related flooding and destruction. More than ninety percent of people doing the research are very in good agreement about what's going on. Sublet said, "As we go forward in time, there's going to be a tendency for the hurricanes that do form to have heavier rain and perhaps stronger winds." Ask whether it's appropriate to talk about climate change while hurricane victims are suffering. Sublet said, "The public wants to know. The public has the right to know, and the public wants answer. I think it's up to us to give the most scientifically accurate information possible." Hayho added, "You can say I don't believe in climate change, but the but the but the planet is warming. Humans are responsible." And the risks are becoming increasingly serious and even dangerous. And that's the end of the audio. Thanks for listening.